Hey everyone, OT intern Jess here. Just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about some breathing exercises that I'd like to go over with you guys. The reason why we're doing breathing is because it's a great way to help calm yourself, especially in these troubling times that we're facing. So today, we're gonna to go over a few different breathing techniques. First, I wanted to start off by saying my environment today is dim, I have some candles lit, with some scents that make me feel good, I find breathing in a dim lit area to be very relaxing. It's also very quiet right now in my house. So when you think about breathing, breathing exercises in particular, you want to try to accumulate up to at least a five minute regimen with this exercise. They say that you can start off with anywhere between two to five minutes. However, you have to feel comfortable with what you're doing. So today, the first exercise we're going to do is called pursed lip breathing. Pursed lip breathing is when you inhale through your nose with a two count and then exhale like you're whistling. Demonstrated here. So you're going to repeat that about five times. That's pursed lip breathing. The next breathing method which is similar to the purse slip is the 478 method. This method encourages you to empty your lungs, breathe in through your nose for four seconds, hold it for seven seconds, and then exhale for eight. So I'll demonstrate that for you. Repeating that a series of five times, if you're comfortable, is going to help decrease anxiety and provide you with a positive coping mechanism. Now, I will educate you on the last breathing exercise that we will talk about today. So for this, I'm gonna demonstrate it lying down. You can actually put a pillow underneath your head and underneath your knees because your knees can be slightly bent up. It depends how relaxed you want to be. For this position, I'm just going to lie flat on my floor. But you can do this in your bed to be most comfortable or on a couch. So what you're going to do is you're going to place one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest. What you're going to do is you're going to breathe in through your nose, filling your belly up with air as demonstrated. With that, my other hand is on my chest and I can feel it rising and then coming down when I exhale my air. These physical cues, as we call them, with you feeling yourself, allow for you to see how much breath that you're fully taking in. Your hand should rise significantly because there is a muscle inside your belly and your abdomen called the diaphragm, and that helps push the air out of the lungs as you exhale. So now that we got our breathing exercises in, let's talk about what we can do to kind of stretch and relax. I find it important to stretch your muscles every so often, at least, I don't know, two to three times a week. And that's even if you're not doing any physical activity. The reason why I recommend this is because keeping yourself loose and limber allows for you to take on the day a little easier and it helps relax the body overall. So the first stretch that we're gonna do is a basic neck stretch starting from here what i'd like you to do is to look up towards the ceiling and hold for about 15 seconds after you achieve those 15 seconds we're then going to have you look down if you need to pause the video to finish your 15 seconds please do so the next exercise we're going to do is looking down towards the ground. You're going to take your head, slowly take it to your chest, and hold it there. If you would like to put some additional stretch on, take your hand and gently put it towards the back of your head, 
gently pushing it down into your chest. Hold that stretch for 16 seconds. Now, you can move on to the sides of your neck. We have a lot of musculature up through here on the sides of our neck, and it's important to get those stretched as well. In order to perform this stretch, it's best to do seated. So what you're going to do in a seated position is you're going to take your head and turn it towards your left shoulder. Then take your left hand and place it towards your right ear. Gently pull down and hold. Do not make this so that it hurts. Hold this for 15 seconds. And then go back to the resting position. Please pause this video to achieve that stretch. We're then going to repeat that same exercise on the opposite side. Bend your head down, reach with your opposite hand, or reach with your dominant hand and pull down. Hold for 15 seconds yes. and then relax. So the next exercise that we stretched our necks out, we're going to get our arms nice and limber. There's a couple ways to do some stretches on your arms. First, you're going to take your arm across your body and take your other hand and push on your elbow and gently pull across. You should feel a pull through in through here in your deltoids and then down through your side while you do it. It should be a nice relaxing stretch and not painful. Hold for 15 seconds. Pause this video to achieve that. We're going to do the same on the opposite side. Reach across against, hand against your elbow and pull across your body. Again, pause the video and hold for 15 seconds. The next exercise that we're going to do is going to work back through here in your tricep area, kind of giving you a nice pull where it attaches to your shoulder. If you're able to reach your arm behind your back, go ahead and do so. Take your other hand on top and gently pull down. You will definitely feel the stretch in through your tricep. You want to ideally hold this for 15 seconds. If you're unable to achieve this, something that you can do is you can take a sheet or a towel that's long, hold on to it, and then take your other hand and pull. It would look something similar if I use my sweatshirt. Put it behind my back, grab the hold of it, and pull down. As you can see, it simulates that same motion we're going to focus on the lower back and into the hamstrings. One stretch that you can do while standing up is spread your legs a little further than shoulder width apart. And then what you're going to do is you want to start bending at the waist so that your backside sticks out, but your chest stays up. Knees are locked and you lower yourself to the ground. As you lower yourself, you will feel your hamstrings becoming tighter and tighter. And once you get to that point where it's not painful, but a good stretch, you want to hold it for 15 seconds. Go ahead and pause the video and try to hold for at least 15 seconds. So now we have our hamstrings nice and stretched. We don't want to forget these larger muscles up front that help us move up and down stairs and in general. So to stretch these quad muscles out through here, there's a couple techniques I can show you how to do it. First, you can put your hand against a wall, a chair, a railing so that you feel secure. Next, you're going to kick your leg up, bend it back a little bit, and try to bring your heel towards your backside. When you hold this, you can hold it for about 15 seconds. You're going to feel it all through your quads. Go ahead and pause the video here and try this. Stretch. For adaptation of that stretch and for a deeper stretch, you can try this. It's called a couch stretch. It's very intense, but it really stretches these quad muscles. So what you would do is you'd place a pillow on the floor, and then you position yourself where you would kick your foot up, and push it all the way back against the wall. And then this foot comes out. And as you stand up or sit up straight, it really pulls in here. Go ahead and pause the video and try this for 15 seconds if you dare. So if the last two stretches are a little intense for you, I'll show you a different stretch that you can do that will really work this inner muscle through here. It's good to stretch that out. We remember these maybe as kids as the butterfly stretch. So what you're going to do is you're going to tuck your heels in as close as you can 
and then push down. You can use your arms to push down or your hands on your knees to push down while your back's supported. This will really work those adductor muscles and really get a nice stretch in there. Go ahead and pause this video and try to hold this for 15 seconds. I hope that you were able to enjoy these stretches and breathing exercises today. You did a great job. And even if you just attempted it and it didn't work out the best, keep trying. I'd be more than happy to give you any annotations if you leave any comments for this video. Be sure to like and subscribe.